This is Happy Half Hour, a Peoria Life web show brought to you by Enjoy Peoria. Hello and welcome to Happy Half Hour. On this week's show, we sit down with the Peoria Riverfront Association to talk about one of my favorite activities in the summer, the Peoria Riverfront Market. After that, the Fox Pub and Cafe will stop by to talk about craft beer, trivia, World Cup soccer, and much more. And of course, we'll fill your free time with some great events that are going on this weekend. So sit back, relax, and stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Happy Half Hour. Good Neighbor Days uh, is a festival that uh, Washington has had for uh, quite, a, quite a few number of years. Uh, uh, West Cherry Festival for a while was Good Neighbor Days prior to that. It's extremely important to have it. It brings all the community together. Everybody has kind of their own little niche, and ours is a Good Neighbor Day. Nixon! Well, you can ride carnivals, you can play the games. Take these poles here, you see how they have these little hooks. You can drag it along and get three of the sharks. We have the community night dinner, we have the community showcase where um, nonprofits come and promote their nonprofits, main stage events. We have pie eating contests. We're introducing this year a little Miss Washington contest. We're about to take him on the carousel ride. So little games, eating ice cream, a couple rides. All right, now you're magic, you want three. You pull three, you want three. Everything that he thinks is exciting is exciting for us. I think it represents something that, that we are. We, we are kind of, you know, all neighborhoods kind of touch each other and everybody helps each other. Really has a nice ring to it to say uh, Washington with uh, Good Neighbor Days. It's a chamber of commerce that actually puts the event on. On a monthly basis, we had committee meetings where all of our volunteers got together. They were doing their own things for each event. The chamber girls, they do a wonderful job as well, making sure that everything is in line. To see it all put together and see it run on a daily basis is just, it's amazing. We're seeing everybody come out here, see the kids with smiles on their face after they've ridden rides. Just coming together as a community as a whole is probably my most favorite part. I, I want people to continue to look forward to it and then when it's over to you know, know that they've had a really good time. Welcome back to Happy Half Hour. One of my favorite things to do in the summer is head down to the Peoria Riverfront and do my grocery shopping for the week at the Riverfront Market. Here to tell us more about what we can expect this year is Sharon Graham. Sharon, thanks for joining sure, us. Sure, thank you for having me. So what can we expect at the Riverfront Market this year? Well, the Riverfront Market is primarily a farmer's market. We're a producer's only market, so everything has to be grown within the state of Illinois and made or grown by the person that's selling it. So we have fresh produce that's usually picked the night before or that morning and brought down to the market. We also have a lot of baked goods. We have um, arts and crafts, you know, pottery, wood-turned items, blown glass, all kinds of really neat um, art ideas. And then also we have some, some food items. We have an omelet station that's going to be there oh. every week this year. Um, and they use farm fresh eggs that they buy from one of the vendors. Very cool. And then they buy produce, you know, spinach and tomatoes and you know, whatever else is in season yeah. at the market at the time and bring it to their tent awesome. and make ready to eat omelets for that's you. That's really cool. Yeah. So it changes probably by the week. Is it a Yes, you out? can find different things at the market all season long. So it starts off a little bit slower in the yeah. spring and then we build on that and we add, um, you know, the sweet corn around the 4th of July and um, peaches and melons as the season goes along. So you got to come back all the time yeah. so that you see what's there. I like the early, I always like the early market because I feel like it it gives you the produce that you wouldn't necessarily usually be after. Right. Like, there's a ton of different varieties of radishes that you don't yes. know about. <laughs> and all the different, like, the different greens and that sort of thing. Yes, there's a lot of different spring. greens and radishes and onions yeah. and asparagus. And then there's a short time that we have strawberries. And so you kind of have to come every week you to do. find out what's there. And what's nice about being a producer's only market, those farmers are out there in the fields, you know, planting and oh, growing yeah. and picking this produce and they can give you ideas on what to do with it mm -hmm. if it's something that you haven't ever bought before um, they can give you ideas on yeah. that and then we also have osf's dietetic interns come and they help uh, they help run our link tent but every other week they also provide um, 
recipes and sampling okay. with something that's in season at the time. So that's a neat tent to stop by too and, and check out what their recipe yeah. of the week is. And then you also have the Chopped Challenge where yes. you can get a little bit more. Yes, that's a very popular event. Um, the Chopped Cooking Contest happens the first and third Saturday of every month. Um, we work with the Heart of Illinois Chefs Association and they bring in um, two to three different chefs at the beginning. They have $25 and 20 minutes to shop the market. Okay. And then they have a mystery item. So once they find the mystery item, they go and buy from various vendors, they bring it back and then they have 25 minutes to prepare a, a dish and then that is judged and the winner moves on in a bracket style contest. So that's been that's very really fun. Cool. Yeah, that's very exciting. Um, this is the 15th year of the market, yes. which is crazy. Um, how, how has it grown over the years? We started off in the parking lot um, across from Running Central and Rhythm Kitchen. Uh -huh. um, and it started, I wasn't there the first two years, but it started with a handful of vendors, you know, nice variety, yeah. but very small and um, would draw, you know, a couple hundred people. And we have grown to where um, Saturday, I have at least 75 vendors oh coming gosh. at this point. And um, we, in the heart of the season, we bring four to 5,000 people down every Saturday. Wow. So it's really become a fun community event. You yeah. always see people that you know. You can talk to the vendors, you can talk to your friends. You can sit out at Martini's and have, they serve Bloody Marys and Mimosas, which awesome. is just a fun addition oh, yeah. to the market as well. So. And that's, yeah, that's something I was going to touch on, is I feel like the, the area businesses have, have really started to embrace the market yes. as well and try to capitalize on all those people yes. coming down. It's very fun because you can come and you can, you know, visit the market and have a, a drink at Martini's, but then Blue Duck is open for brunch. Mm -hmm. The Rhythm Kitchen opens for lunch. The museum is right across the, um, the street from us, the Caterpillar Visitor Center. Spirit of Peoria always has afternoon cruises, so um, there's just a, you can come down in the morning and spend the entire day there. Definitely, so. you can, yeah, definitely make a day of it. Um, I know you mentioned that the OSF dietetic, dietitians um, manage Link Tent. That's really cool yes. that you guys do accept Link. Um, how is that important? For this is something area? we started um, several years ago um, just to provide equal access to everyone in the community. So if you have a, a link card, which is formerly food stamps, um, you bring your link card down to the market, you give it to the interns and they will sw swipe your card and give you wooden tokens to spend at the various food vendors. Okay. Um, we also have a great program that we've been able to continue through um, grants through um, Link Up Illinois as well as a, a local fund at the Community Foundation of Central Illinois called the Wholesome Food Fund. So okay. people donate to the Wholesome Food Fund and then we're able to match your purchasing dollars. So awesome. if you take $20 off of your Link card, we will match another t up to $20 per Saturday and then you have $40 worth of tokens That's to be spent amazing. at the market. And those matching dollars have to be spent on fruits and vegetables yeah. and so there's such a variety of items that you can spend it on. So it, it is really good program that helps a, a lot of people in the community. That's very cool. Um, what, what other things can you do around the riverfront? Well I guess we kind of touched on that but yeah. also at the event um, I think yeah. some people don't realize that there's I mean, live music, balloon. I mean, there's something yes. for everybody. And it changes every week. Mm -hmm. um, we do have balloons by the Unique Twist. Yeah. We have face painting by Wild Style um, Design Company. Um, they're there most Saturdays, yeah. not every Saturday. The um, Peoria Area ma Magicians, yeah. um, they come every, they come twice a, a month. Um, so there's different, you know, entertainment things to do for the kids every week. And then we also have live music every week. Um, we do open May 19th, and then Sculpture Walk Peoria has their grand opening oh, on the Sun Plaza at the Riverfront Museum on the 19th as well. So opening day this Saturday is going to yeah. be a really fun day. You can come to the market and then go over to the Sculpture Walk and, and do a tour there as well. Very so. cool. Yeah. So I know this year, um, I don't know if we talked about this, there's a ton of construction going on yes. on down there, which I'm sure has been yes. very <laughs> exciting for you. We are looking <laughs> at a, a change in our layout. Mm -hmm. um, they're working really hard to get the area prepared for the market. Awesome. So if you've been down there, um, you'll notice one of the buildings of Riverfront Village is still standing, mm -hmm. and that is standing because they've taken the time to prepare the area for the market. Fantastic. So um, they're still pouring concrete down there today, yeah. but it, it's beautiful what's been done. Um, it should give us um, some space, additional space in the Martinis right. parking lot, as well as space around behind River Station and additional space on the other side of River Station. So we should have plenty of room. Um, the area looks really nice and um, we're excited. So same location then? For same people. location, awesome. just a little change in, yeah. the, in the layout. Okay. Good. And I do, uh, we may be changing our vendors around a little bit throughout yeah. the summer oh, just sure. to elect, due to electricity needs. So um, if you find your favorite vendor, they may be switching locations throughout the summer, but um, you know, we'll all get settled and within a few weeks. You'll be